I've spent a career from research through to commercial and uh, I first got to understand GalvMed um, when I was doing some work for uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Um, and then to, in 2016, I was invited to join the board. So this is my sixth year of working directly with GalvMed. You know, as a researcher, you think that we know, you know, the innovation is just with what we create. But what you understand when you work in Africa and India, that you need to actually be working across the whole value chain. So the beauty, I think, for GalvMed is that we're now doing that. We're not just doing the research, we're developing products, we're developing commercial programs. Um, how do we achieve outcome? I think I've stressed that before. Not just activity, but outcome. So, so projects like The Last Mile, making sure that the products we develop uh, get to the smallholder farmers, understanding what their needs are, how they make decisions about how to spend their valuable dollars. Also, the relationship we've built up with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and also with FCDO, which is a, a government organisation from the UK government. Um, so they've been really important relationships. So government's work is really critical because we've got this expanding world population. We're going to have to feed 10 billion people by 2050. And the smallholder farmers of Africa and Asia produce 90% of that protein. We know that animal-based proteins are very nutrient rich, so they're a great source. And our role is to help those smallholder farmers reduce the mortalities they, they suffer, but also increase the productivity. Work hand in hand with people who are developing better genetics, but we'll always need animal health. You know, the, 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 the big problem is when a disease is hit, we can have large scale losses, and that can be devastating for a smallholder farmer. What smallholder farmers do, which is really important, is they put more protein into the diet of their families and they put money into the education of the children. The other really important thing is gender. We know that the bulk of the work for livestock is done by women, so we need to make sure that what we're doing is empowering women in Africa. So, so government has three offices here in Nairobi, but also one in New Delhi and one in Edinburgh. We're only a small organisation, 33 staff, but there's enormous effort that people have put, put in to create GalvMed and sustain it. COVID has been very difficult. We've had a lot of our staff um, contract COVID, but we work through it. And, and we're a stronger organisation today than we've ever been because of the people that work for this organisation and the passion they show. Uh, for me personally, uh, this, is, this will be my last year. So what we've worked on with GalvMed is a succession plan. So we've made a decision just this week where we've been meeting in Senegal of the future chair um, and Isabel Digabai from uh, the OAE will take over from me in September. So part of my role as chair of the board is making sure we've got good succession. The most important thing a board does is employ a CEO. And we've been very, very lucky with Carolyn Shoemaker that we've appointed a very good CEO and it's our role to support her. Continuing to build up our office here in Nairobi, as I said, um, we've got an, a third of our staff here, but we want to go further than that. Um, partnering more with African-based organisations uh, is part of it. So as part of that overall strategy that we've worked hard on, who are the key people that we need to work with? Some really new innovative, innovative ideas in commercial areas. Um, telehealth. COVID has taught us the importance of telehealth in human health. It's also important in animal health too.